A new Antarctica discovery of warm caves offered stunning evidence of life underneath the ice. Now we know that Antarctica is only open to scientists that have special permission to go and visit and stay there. It had uh, 47, it had been listed with 47 volcanoes and recently another 100 have been found. Some of them are uh, the size of Yellowstone supervolcano. And uh, we have some volcanoes, Mount uh, uh, Erebus, as we know, and uh, Mount Michael. These uh, volcanoes are quite active, especially on the west coast of Antarctica, where we have the ice sheets melting there. Now, scientists discovered evidence for life in a series of warm caves beneath Antarctica's thick ice sheet. Mount Erebus is Antarctica's second highest active volcano after Mount Sidley and the southern most active volcano on Earth, with a summit elevation of about uh, four, th 12,000 feet. It's located on Ross Island, an island formed by four volcanoes in the Ross Sea, and it's been active for around 1.3 million years. This could help provide evidence for a secret world of animals and plants underneath the ice. Now, surrounding Mount Erebus is an intricate system of caves, and they're hollowed out by the ice, uh, in the ice by the steam. So the warmth is hollowing ice, the ice, creating caves underneath. These caves were explored during an extensive study led by Australian National University, and that's uh, when researchers found how steam produced from the volcano travels through open spaces, melting passageways, through the network of caves in the process. The team said the caves are light and could reach temperatures of 25 degrees Celsius, making them potentially breeding grounds for life. The stud, that's about 70 degrees, 68, 68 degrees, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, I guess. The, uh, so that's quite comfortable. The study was uh, published in 2017 and led by Dr. Saradwin Fraser, Laurie Connell, Charles K. Lee and S. Craig Carey. Now, at the time, Dr. Fraser said it can be really warm inside the caves, up to 25 degrees Celsius in some caves. You could wear a t-shirt in there and be pretty comfortable. There's light near the cave mouths. The light filters deeper into some caves where the under the overlying ice is thin. I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So carrying out DNA analysis of the soil taken from the caves, the team found evidence for organisms including algae, moss, and small invertebrate animals. This did not come as a surprise because many of these species are found elsewhere in Antarctica, but not all sequences could be fully identified. Dr. Fraser says the results from the study give a tantalizing glimpse of what might live underneath the ice in Antarctica. There might even be a new species of animals and plants. He says the next step is to go and have a really good look and see if we can find communities living beneath the ice in Antarctica. No definitive evidence found to suggest that anything was currently living, but signs that things used to live there were present. The initial discoveries were just scraping the surface. As co-researcher Charles Lee explains that there are more than a dozen active volcanoes in Antarctica, active we're talking about, all of which have similar caves, and they can be mapped through radar techniques. However, uh, most are inaccessible to humans, most of these caves. Professor Laurie Collins said the next steps will be to take a closer look at the caves and search for living organisms, and if they exist, it will open the door to a new exciting world, obviously. Despite their discoveries, the study authors conceded they still know little about the life inside the cave networks, which may harbor diverse and complex communities. But the discoveries have prompted speculation as to whether extraterrestrial life could be found in Antarctica. David Childress, author of a number of books focused on pseudo-archaeology and uh, pseudo-scientific topics, spoke to 
the recent sky history document, Ancient Aliens. The documentary's narrator said, recent scientific work has discovered some of these cave networks could be as large as the entire island of Manhattan. Childress said, "There, uh, here we have a huge, apparently, underground world beneath Antarctica, and this could be used by extraterrestrials as these ready-made bases that are underground and are hidden. And one conspiracy theorist believes they found evidence for extraterrestrial life on Antarctica Island in 2020. UFO hunter Scott C. Waring claimed he spotted a supposed spaceship on the Lavoisier Island using Google Maps, and he said he discovered a triangle craft with a hump in the middle, which looked like a metallic, and it was sitting in the area, which appears to be a location of ancient alien base. Others, though, dismiss his claims instead, arguing that it was simply a rocky ridge. So the uh, very, very uh, surprising and uh, new discovery of these very warm caves around the volcanoes under the Antarctica ice sheets. This is by Charlie Pittock on Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.